There were conferences to come, uh, and also summer school winter camp to uh, invite uh, scholars and students to work together. Basic approaches, but also uh, maybe uh, political philosophy and. Uh, uh, look at the history of the emergence of landscape. You can find a very interesting and kind of uh, inside network theory. Although they, they do claim to have found uh, wants to reoccupy to take over the economy and change the power dynamics. But so at the end of knowledge making that might be a contribution to the science. After the end of the Cold War, ASEAN has similar to the European Union. The idea was that uh, the students from all over the world I, um, I, I had the tendency myself to see this. This is the state speaking, it's a white thing, right? And this is uh, society speaking. <laughs> After the heavy things, let's make the session easier, okay? Uh, more fun. Um, so this session is to meet the participants and also our faculty members. What I talked about today is part of a project that I'm trying to finish up. Feminism and concubinage, part of which has to do the sex workers movement that happened. I started a long time ago, I started my MA studies in Vienna at the Chinese department and the department of Tibetan and Buddhist studies. I, uh, I, I studied uh, uh, novel or poetry uh, from the viewpoint of uh, boys, uh, body, sense, and sexuality. It asked the question of the war um, knowledge production in Taiwan and uh, how it can be related to the operations of. Uh, right now I'm uh, studying colonialism, uh, internal colonialism in Uyghur. It's more specific for my Very nice to see you all here, and I hope that you have very fruitful, meaningful, and constructive academic conversation. <laughs> So, um, aside from uh, demonstrating on this very uh, specific issues on Oranasi land policy, Oranasi land rights, most of the indigenous people don't have the opportunity to know this. Because the history has the book, never talk about this. Uh, now I want to ask some practical questions concerning that. what is the next step? So, why do you think we should really give them a big recognition? and even educate them to fight for their place. Make one point. Uh, I think one of the things that, com com the, if you look at the two other papers on this panel, one of the things that combines them is issues of land, and this is not accidental. Um, uh, Mr. Sampa, on the afternoon of November 26, 2016, I met Mr. Sampa in Ranakia, a village. The things that are I'm consuming the kind of the uh, critical potential of revolutionary minorities. It's, it's, it's also weird that the text or this cultural text. I have to connect it to many part of that. Congress and the Senate, the legislative branches. That there's actually a difference between left wing melancholy and left wing mourning. I'm going to pick up the story in the post war, which is when Takeuchi is the most famous, right? The colonizing project have demonstrated the fact that. The enlightenment knowledge, which is how to decolonize that practice. And then we, we, we were, I think all of us are looking for some kind of a different model. However, the model. Okay, we are ready. So we are come down there. Look at the Japanese people who rule Taiwan, and we are going to walk a very special walkway. Don't be afraid because we are still in the daytime. And Adam did told us that he will not go here alone at night because it, it will be called as the dead walkway. Why? You know, as the leprosy patient, they not only suffer from their appearance, but also they suffer from their heart. Our master even carried it to every protest occasion, just try to show people that please do not forget this place. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
after the end of the Asian Pacific War. Today I am focusing in particular on the cultural activities of these Japanese laborers in the provincial Manchurian city of Hega. Although this is a very small group of Taiwanese being interned then sent back to Taiwan, but we can see that within this process there is a repositioning of East Asian powers. We talk about the ordinary people's like experience and things. Definitely, it's always important to look at their actual uh, emotions and how they remember all this kind of stuff and things. So just one. Wanna... This is up at the moment, and now history comes in, and memory comes in. But what I said in my lecture on Monday. For our group presentation, we want to show a map under the rubric of border politics. Some of our group members have specific research cases on the people who moved across border by the state management or wars. I feel that uh, very, uh, very good about the future of uh, uh, academia and inter-Asian uh, uh, you know, knowledge exchange. I imagine some of you will be prop views of the future. So, yeah. Uh, it seems like the time to <laughs> 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 test. <laughs> Professor, does he remember everyone's name? <laughs>